Okay, rule number two is called exposure, or it's actually the lighting of a shot, but the big photography term is exposure. Uh, you normally never want to take a photo against a bright background. Here I have a light here and Bob's in the background. Like, for example, someone's standing in front of a window. You can see how it's already messing with the video here because if it gets too much of the light in there, it adjusts the exposure so that I darken here. So if I stand in front of the light, it'll adjust things and I'll lighten up. So you don't want to have something bright in the background. So if you can avoid it, get away from it. Sometimes you have to deal with it. And so let's say I have to get this shot. Well, Bob's really, really darkening here because of that light background. So I'm going to tap on Bob and that's going to reset the exposure onto Bob and not the background. If I tap on the light, see it now it sets. Oh, he wants that exposure for the light. No, you got to really still tap on your subject and sometimes tap and hold because remember that will even lock the exposure. It locks the focus and the exposure. So now if we get all this white here, Bob still looks good. Okay, where if we didn't do that, if I unlock that and do that, see how it looks bad? So sometimes you really need to do that tap and hold to make sure that your exposure looks good. We always want whatever we want as the subject to be well lit, even if we have a, a bright background. So sometimes using that exposure lock, that tap and hold, is what's going to make the lighting of a photograph good. And you remember, some of those bad photos, really bad lighting, okay? So again, just where you are right now, tap some photos, maybe even go against something bright like a window or some lights. See how that tap to set the exposure and tap, set the focus. See how that messes with the, the shot so you get kind of used to setting the right, right, right exposure or the brightness or light, lighting of a shot so that it's great. That's rule number two. I forgot to tell you something about exposure. Okay, so all that talk about taking something with something in the bright background. Let's talk about how you set up lighting. Okay, so we have the simple little, it's like an umbrella light here, okay? And let me show you, I'm gonna set my iPad down here. I'm gonna show you how you set up the light. So if Bob is our subject, so you have your person that needs to be photographed, you want the light slightly higher than them, okay? So here's like the center of the light. You see Bob's height is right here. It's slightly higher. It just makes for nice shadows across the face if the light is slightly higher. So let me get this adjusted. And of course it needs to be in front kind of of Bob so that we're getting light coming in on Bob. You don't want it from behind Bob or anything like that or your subject. So I've got this light is adjusted perfectly. This has a little, the, the little arm on the lights adjustable so you can make it go up and down. So I have everything well lit there. All right, let me grab my iPad again and let's take a great shot of Bob. So the lighting is great. I'm gonna tap to focus on Bob. Let me show you what that looks like here. Oh, that is a masterpiece of Bob. Look at that, he's lit well. Look at the shadow coming off his nose and everything perfectly lit. So make sure you use um, the other things we talked about, the setting exposure, and then use a nice light. So sometimes you can get it right from the window coming in or something, but use a light to naturally light, or sometimes we use an artificial light to make your photos just look that much better.